So welcome to the class projection of solids. So uh, in solids generally two types of inclinations are there. One is the axis inclination. The axis of the solid itself inclined to some angle to HP or inclined at some angle to VP. This is one type of inclination. Another type of inclination is inclination of the base edge. So here the base edge may be inclined at some angle to VP. This is one case and the base edge inclined to some angle in the base edge inclined at some angle to HP. This is one case. In the second case the axis is still perpendicular to HP. So two cases are there. One is axis inclination. Another one is base inclination. So let us do a problem which involves only the base inclination. A cube at side 50 mm is resting with its base on HP. So the cube is resting on HP with its base and it is having a side of 50 mm. This is actually not a cube. Let us assume this as a cube. Right. Then it is given that the nearest base corner is 10 mm from the VP. A base corner is near to VP and that is 10 mm from the VP. And then one base side through that corner is at 30 degree to VP. So, an edge which is coming from the nearest corner is at 30 degree to VP. So, that 30 degree will be visible on the top view. Before drawing this projection, we must decide which drawing, which projection should be drawn first, whether the front view or top view. So, that is decided based on the base view and lateral view. So, here in this case, I can see the square shape in the top view. And in the lateral view, I cannot see the square shape. So, the view in which I can see the square shape is the base view. And the other view is lateral view. So, in this particular problem, the base view is in the top view. So, we have to start from the top view. Right, I have drawn an x-ray line. Now, we have to start from the top view as we have seen earlier. Because the base view is top view. So, before starting the stop view, we have to use this condition. So, what are the condition? The object is 10 mm from the VP. The object means the one of its corner is 10 mm from the VP. So, we have to give a gap 10 mm from the VP. And the next thing, the side is inclined at 30 degree. The base side is inclined at 30 degree to the VP. So, I have, we have to draw one more line at 30 degrees to VP. So, in this 30 degree line, we have to draw the first edge. Right, so I have drawn the top view. Let us name all the points. We have two phases, one at the front and another at the rear. So let us name the front phase as A, B, C, D, and let us name the rear phase as 1, 2, 3, 4. I am naming the front view, front phase as A, B, C, D, and likewise I am naming the rear phase as 1, 2, 3, and 4. The size, the size of the side is 50 mm as given in the question. Now, let us draw the front view that is the stride forward thing. Now, project all the points to the x y line. Point C, point V, point D and point A. So, I have projected all the points to the x y line. And it is given in the problem that the object is resting on HP. So, the object should be resting on the HP, that means XY. So, object is resting on the XY line and also height of the object is also 50 mm because that is a cube. So, let us draw a cube of height 50 mm. And now we have to decide about these two edges, D4 and 2B. Actually, this is the orientation of the solid. And in the top view, we are seeing like this. In the top view, we can see that D4 is here and 2B is here, right? D4 is here, 2B is here, similarly D4 is here, DB is, 2B is here. So when you see from its front, 2B face from comes in front of you and the D4 face comes in the rear. So D4 care, D, so the D4 edge will not be visible and it should be marked in dotted line. Whereas the 2B edge is in front of the solid. So that will be visible and that should be marked in dark light. And let us name all the points. 
a dash b dash c dash and d dash only the d dash is invisible here 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash only the 4 dash is invisible here hope you understood this problem thank you